Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Bailey and Rich. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your girl's ability to understand and respond to her formal obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Bailey has been fitted with her very own training collar and she will be coming home with that and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now if you notice she is sitting very nicely and very quietly at Rich's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Bailey heal. Bailey, heal. Now at this point Bailey has a job to do and that is to stay even with Rich's left leg. No matter what your pace when walking, whether you're a jogger, whether you like to take leisurely walks with her, she should always maintain pace with you, not dragging you down the street and each time that you stop walking She's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So when you're walking down the street and you stop to cross traffic or speak to a neighbor, she should be sitting nicely at your left waiting for her next command. And she's a very, very, very smart girl. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. She's got a niche. <laughs> Rich puts her back into a sit and gives her the hand and voice command to stay. You're going to practice this exercise indoors as well as outdoors and you're going to practice lengthening out your time and your distance. When Rich returns back to her, she should remain seated until he walks all the way around her and gets back to heel. Now she, she got up, so he's making her do it again. Okay. All the way back around, you return all the way back to heel. That time she held it, and they take off healing again. And healing with a giant breed is probably one of the most important exercises because it's one of the things that my owners complain about the most, that the dog has pulled me to the ground, that, you know, to my rotator cuff, we've heard it all, so it's really important that you maintain these healing skills. Rich leaves her in another sit stay. And again, this helps to develop focus and maturity. This time, Rich is going to call her. This is the recall. He uses her name, he uses a happy voice, he talks to her on the way in, and she comes right in and sits in front of him and then goes back to heel and back sitting. Now, all of these exercises require her to have self-control and discipline and focus. So she's a very, very large breed puppy. And so all of these exercises are designed so that you have a large breed puppy that is not wildly out of control and that responds to commands. <laughs> she's so cute. Rich is going to leave her in another sit stay and he's going to demonstrate that come on command again. He uses her name in a happy voice and she comes right in and sits. If she doesn't sit, you'll see Rich give that little tiny tug. It's barely visible, but she knows that that means that whatever it is you're doing, it's not the right thing. We just think she's done a great job here at school. She's adjusted to being here with us beautifully. She's very stable. Now the next commands that we're gonna be demonstrating for you are your down commands, and there are two. With your dog seated at your left, you're gonna take your left open palm straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and then stay. Again, this is a great exercise to practice right in your home. 
You don't have to go outside if the weather's bad to practice obedience. And I just got an email from a client the other day who told me that when their dog gets amped up and has a lot of energy, they put on their video and they practice and it, it works every time. Rich returns back to her exactly as he did on the sit stay, returning all the way back to heel. And every time you get back to that original position, she expects to get another command. Now he's going to demonstrate that down from a heel position one more time. So with her seated at your left, left open palm, straight down toward the ground. She does it with pizzazz, that's for sure. This time Rich is going to call her out of this exercise. She comes in, sat beautifully. That was very nicely done. And then back to heel and back sitting. And you're going to notice with your giant breed puppies that they're a little bit sloppy because they're like a, a teenager. They're um, growing. They don't have it all together as far as coordination is concerned. And that will come with time. Because for sure she's a teenager. Now the last exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a distance. So with your dog seated at your left, you leave her in a stay, you turn to face the dog, you use your right hand to give the command this time, and that is your down from a distance. She likes those down commands. <laughs> Now we have demonstrated for you all of Bailey's formal on-leash obedience commands that she's learned while she's been here at school. She's done a great job here. We've really enjoyed having her. You'll be getting your lesson tomorrow with Rich and he'll be teaching you how to perform all your commands with her as well as what to do when she's not performing for you. We've really enjoyed having her and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.